Hi, this is Shubha Vijayanathan. My name is Pratima. My name is Christina Samari. Hi, I'm Babita V. Thomas. I'm Chetana. My name is Debbie Hoffman. Hi, my name is Preeti Puama. Hi, I'm Sujata. Myself, Pratnamani. Hey, hi, I'm Gatshri. I've been with Emphasis since 2001. I joined the organization just right after my college in 2002. And the last 14 years, uh, when I joined, I joined as a training customer service executive and now uh, senior manager operation. I'm the Chief Legal Officer of Digital Risk. I work with Opal and have been with Emphasis for about 12 years. I'm the Senior Operations Manager with Emphasis. I have been with uh, Emphasis for more than 13 years. I'm part of Finance Payroll Team. I've been with Emphasis for past 13 years. I've joined the Emphasis on 2004 as an information analyst. I had leadership learning at Emphasis and I've been with the organization now for close to 13 years. I am the Vice President of Marketing and Public Relations. I started my career as an information analyst and grown up to a delivery project manager. I've been working in Emphasis from last 15 years. I've been in the financial services industry for about 20 years now with a focus on real estate and mortgages. And it has been uh, enjoyable and uh, exciting and wonderful journey for me. I started my career as a trainee CSC with Opal, but then along the way I did get a lot of opportunities and I was groomed by my mentors. I started my journey with emphasis as a developer in an application development project. Then I, I moved to a production support project where I got an opportunity to go on site for knowledge transfer. I've been a processor, moved into processing management role and have actually had the greatest opportunities while being here at Digital Risk over the last eight years. But over the past 13 years, I've done different roles at Emphasis, moved from pre-process training to on-flow support. Uh, then I moved to HR operations, onboarding, offboarding, transfers, and then back again to leadership learning. And progressed to the role of a project lead, project manager, test manager, test director, and group project manager. So the last 14 years have been really crucial because there's so much of immense of learning, the growth opportunities that we've had in the organization and you know, the warmth and the kind of culture that we have around is, is just amazing. My proudest moment in emphasis was on 2006 where I was leading the GTO team had grown from 5 members to 200 plus members. Uh, it, it is when I've been awarded the Best Manager Award during my review thing. I was awarded in recognition of my people management skills, customer centric and delivery excellence. The proudest moment for me would be, I think, which I can never forget, the first time when I cleared the development center, that's the unit manager role. And I think I topped at that point of time, and I think that's the best till date. I think the biggest plus for me with emphasis has been the people. Uh, I've worked with some great leaders, great colleagues, people who put in a lot of passion into what they do. What I like most in the emphasis culture is the ample opportunity and the growth to flourish in the organization. I like the uh, factor that emphasis has a participatory culture and we're very inclusive about our women employees and people with disabilities. Emphasis has facilitated my growth as per my area of interest. The culture, I think it's more to do with the warmth, the friendliness that people show here. What I love most uh, about Emphasis is the splendid avenues for growth. Um, if you have the passion and the will, um, um, sky's the limit in Emphasis. My biggest inspiration has been Mirza Ali, my account head. My inspiration has been uh, Chanda Kocha, CEO of ICICI Bank. She is the inspiration for women across the world and someone I look up to. I work for the best of the leaders, from my first manager who was a lady, Deepa Haridas. It would be my mother. My brother Purushottaman was the greatest source of inspiration to me and my family. Her indomitable spirit and never uh, say no attitude uh, keeps me um, 
inspired. I like traveling. I'm happy to even get onto a broken down bus and travel anywhere. Uh, I love reading. I enjoy theater. I enjoy running. My husband and I run several times a week and I also enjoy learning the game of golf. My hobbies are listening to music and also I am interested to know the latest news happening around the world. My hobbies are cooking and dancing. I am a professionally trained Bharatanatyam dancer. I enjoy a lot of homemaking, crafting, sewing. My hobbies are cooking and interior decoration. I'm most interested in advancing women's rights, spending time with my family and literature. I love uh, to paint and uh, do craft works and I'm an ardent fan of music in any form. I enjoy going to the beach. I like reading, watching movies and primarily I enjoy spending time with my family and friends. I think uh, it's the boundaries that you draw between your personal and your professional life because uh, you, need to, uh, you need to know your priorities and they need to be aligned accordingly. I balance my work life with family with proper time management and planning. A great support system that I have at home uh, as well as the fact that at work it's been highly flexible. Just have a very organized schedule and build in downtime for yourselves and when you run errands on a ad hoc basis just check what the impact of those errands are and you shouldn't have a problem balancing work life and your social life. As part of your life, you will go through different stages where the demands on you would be very different. You should not be apologetic about it. It does not make you a lesser professional. It does not reduce your worth. Understand that and ask for it out of the organizations that you work for. You realize that we are more than happy to accommodate your requirements because you are an important and integral part of their success. My personal uh, success mantra is hard work and integrity. Personally, I think uh, the only way that you work successfully is if you believe in what you do and if you are passionate about what you do. My message for women professionals in corporate world is understand the objective of business need, align your goal to the business objective and work hard to achieve it. Commitment, dedication and integrity will take you to greater heights. My personal success mantra is planning and focused effort. My suggestion to women professionals is as much as possible, do not carry office work home. When you are at office, give 100% focus to work. When you are at home, spend quality time with your family. Believe in yourself and the qualities that you possess, the skills that you possess because that takes you to achieve your goals. Don't allow for yourself to be overlooked. In a word, be fearless.